Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I saw the news that Warren Buffett finally buys something. His company Berkshire Hathaway has acquired the assets of Domino Energy, uh, that including 4 billion on equities and the other 5.7 billion on their liabilities. So strictly speaking, Warren Buffett doesn't buy the stock, so he just acquired the whole section of the company. Why he acquired uh, Domino Energy? Yesterday, after Berkshire Hathaway announced the acquisition of Domino Energy, the stock price of BRKB has increased 2%. While the stock price of Domino Energy has decreased 10%. Why is that? The reason is Domino Energy has a variety of business. The natural gas is just one part, and that's what Berkshire Hathaway has acquired. Uh, they acquired the total assets, so that means after the acquisition, the company Domino Energy doesn't have that gas pipeline business anymore. So why the stock price have dropped 10% today is because the company Domino Energy has announced that they have dropped a deal with their partner, which is also an energy company. So that's what affects the stock price. After knowing that, we know it's not good to also buy the stock because Warren Buffett doesn't buy the stocks of the company. He just bought one section of the company and he acquired it totally. I think this action is very Buffett. It's just like what he did in when he's buying the railway company. I know a lot of people say that Buffett didn't buy at a good price or doesn't have a good timing, but actually when you look at in the financial crisis, Buffett never said that he sees the best timing. For example, in 2008 financial crisis, Berkshire has acquired shares of Goldman Sachs and General Electric with 5 billion and 3 billion respectively, and also they acquired Swiss Reinsurance Company and the Railway Company. It seems that other than the Swiss Reinsurance Company, other company, he doesn't have the lowest price. And when you look at the acquisition of BNSF Railway, which has cost Berkshire around $26 billion. So as for BNSF, it seems like Warren Buffett liked this capital heavy company and that's his comfortable zone. Even nowadays in US, people cannot live without railway in terms of the uh, transportation. BNSF is the leading player in this area. The situation is like this time when they are acquiring dominant energy. It doesn't get the bottom price, but it turns out to one of very successful acquisition. So that leads to the second point, why Warren Buffett want to acquire the traditional energy business. If we look at the business proportion of Berkshire, we can say that 83% of the business are insurance, the other 16% are railway, utility, and energy. So the reason that Warren Buffett like business like insurance, railway and energy is because they can generate constant cash for the company so that they can use this cash to invest in other stocks. They own one of the largest insurance company Geico, so people would pay the insurance regularly and then the company would have a large amount of cash at hand. People will not claim their insurance at day one, so they can use their spare cash to do the investment. It's like to use margin in an investment, but with a lower interest rate. And because the company Berkshire Hathaway has a large amount of cash, so if in the case they need to pay for the claims, there's they don't have liquidity problems. According to Warren Buffett's Noble theory, they invited this cash gradually, and in six years, it has accumulated large amount of wealth through investing. So that's why it can give back uh, around 20% return to their investors. It's the same concept with the energy business. So after the acquisition, Berkshire Hathaway has about 18% about the gas pipeline business and uh, gas transportation business in the US. So currently still millions of people are using gas and that's one of their essentials in life. The natural gas is something they could not live with, so that will also bring constant cash flow. In the current situation, Warren Buffett has cut off some of his stocks but didn't do a lot of buying. This is so one of the things he only bought. It seems one of the big acquisitions he has did, although it's not an elephant size one. Uh, so the current stock price of BRKB is 180 because Berkshire has sold some of stocks like airline stock and banking stock uh, earlier this year and it suffered from loss. So I do think the stock price has further space to drop, but if it's dropped, it would be, uh, in my opinion, a good time 
to add more positions. So currently I only have six share of BRKB and I would look for to own more BRKB and hopefully one day I can finally buy one share of BRKA because I get their investment strategy and I think what they're doing is a very stable business. So that's my opinion about Warren Buffett's biggest acquisition. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.